Okay, so getting into the car for the first time, we now have FSD beta and we have 10.3, the newest one. So there's a slew of like things here. Let's see, added FSD profiles, that's nice. Moving around, path blockage, creep speed, all kinds of cool things. Added 25,000 plus video clips for training data set. Uh, increased frame rate, plus 1.7 frames per second. Ooh, that's what we're gonna see right there. Super excited for that. Uh, use additional caution, da 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 you know, the usual. Cool, well, um, we're gonna go ahead and get all the cameras situated and go for our first FSD Beta 10.3 drive. Autopilot, full self-driving beta, on. I already have read this, yes. Do we want chill, average, or assertive? Mm, probably average. Average, okay. Is that the three profile or the profiles it was talking about in the release notes? Yeah, and that, those profiles will relate to me so people can change it. Um, in this profile, your Model S will have a medium follow distance and may perform rolling stops. Ooh. Like California stuff? Larger follow distance, perform fewer speed lane changes. Smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes, will not exit passing lanes. Maybe we should try chill. Oh yeah, first time. Yeah, let's, let's go chill. Do I have to do anything? Okay, so we are going to navigate to Walgreens here. And so here we go. The car is doing its own thing. Hands on the wheel. feels like normal. I was gonna say, it's about the same as before. <laughs> <laughs> Although the visualizations are nice, I'll give them that. I guess the moment of truth will when we need to turn left up ahead. Exactly. On an un unprotected left turn by a hill. Oh yeah. The hill. But yeah, the visualizations are <clears throat> definitely better. Yeah. I like how you can see the other side of the road, the double yeah. yellow. The red on the edges. I wish they would have just shown us that long ago. Which is regular autopilot. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a bike? Okay. At least he's over here. Okay, let's see if it handles it right here. Yeah. It, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Being that we're now vision based, we have a follow distance of two to seven and no higher than 80 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. So we are a little limited. But here's our first turn. Moment of truth. Oh, we got brakes, we got a turn signal. Yeah. Just watch the curve because it's like to accelerate out here. Well, we are on chill, so there's that at least. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're really being cautious, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 wow. oh, wow, that actually was really good. <laughs> okay. Oh, but now it's falling. It's well, no, it says 40. Huh. It's just, it's just it, it's being oh, it's because we're on chill. chill. It's good, though, because other it's people complain chill. how it, like, floors it. Yeah. And it's kind of scary. This is a little... So maybe we can bump it to average later. If I it, think average. If, if it does well. Yeah. But other people are saying, too, that sometimes it... It does some just fine, and the other, on the way home, it's you know, it's yeah. the exact same spot. Well, she's learning. Okay, so here's a, in a moment of truth right here, where it's a blind curve, blind curve of fifty miles an hour. Yeah. Oh, okay. I would have slowed down for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh it did. Yeah, it did after the curve. Okay. It's just like it's very little, slow. Little, to pick little up. curve. Yeah, it's like okay. Yeah, I think chill is like. Yeah. Too chill, but maybe, but that's cool because that's something new in this release yeah. because people were complaining how it was too aggressive. Yeah. So I know when we talked with Roger, he said a lot of times when it would turn onto a street, it would just like full out punch it. Yeah. So. So that's actually not bad. I'd rather be airing on the the slower side and not scaring people. Exactly. Especially being that this is our first time on driving with FSD yeah. Beta. So this should be interesting too because we've tested this for years. Yep on this turn because it's kind of two like almost 90 degree turns at a slow speed. I mean, 
It, were, it did it. Didn't go over the line. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, oh. Did you see the yoke? Yeah. Was like, the yoke oh, was like, uh, okay. See, that acceleration was a lot smoother. Yeah. Coming out. A little confident or whatever. Do we do a zero to 103 run real quick? No. Okay, just double checking. I mean, I'm not too concerned with how it's going to act on highways because we've kind of seen highway usage a lot anyway. Yeah. Especially with just regular autopilot. I'm more concerned with like city streets and how it's going to navigate all that. I feel confident with it on highways at least. when autopilot would freak yeah. out with shadows for bridges and stuff yeah it's like slam on the brakes so now okay so we're going through that traffic circle yep. oh, and, also, circle and also the uh through lane and stuff like that yep. it takes the right lane the one thing we have to be careful for is curves yeah i've heard a couple well, of people have gotten curved rims so, and we are not about to curve anything there's a lot of things you got to be careful of, but yeah that's one that's honestly my biggest concern right now Okay, so first uh, right hand turn, I guess. These couple vehicles, though. Okay. <laughs> Did you stop it or is it? No, I'm not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's very cautious. You know, hopefully it stays in this lane because. The left lane is like a left turn lane eventually. Yeah. But that's kind of a recent change. But hey, smart enough it stayed in this one. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Can I turn on that AC on like the lowest amount? Actually pretty quiet. Oh, wait, it doesn't know. It thinks this is a stop sign. Just push the accelerator and go through it or whatever. Yeah. I wanted to see what it would do. Yeah. I didn't touch okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah. You oh, oh, cool. It? But, nope. but it knows to get in that lane now. But it crossed it, a solid yeah, white line. A little bit bad. I could get in trouble for that. Nah, white lines are not as bad as... It's like... It's the yellow lines you don't okay. want to cross over. Like that one. But that's cool. It knew to go into this one to do the turn in the roundabout. It's actually working better than I thought. I know. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, after seeing, you know, how it didn't work at all the first try. Yeah. Okay. It's a little awkward when it's like. We we need to try like the this, re the regular the mode. The regular mode. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I wonder if that okay. is why we saw all these other cars driving this morning. Oh. Oh, got it. You got it. Just stay away from the car, please. Thank you. Okay. Could have brought that movie back. Uh oh, which, okay. That's fine. It can stay in this line. Yeah, until we get up there. I'm surprised it's actually working as well as it is. It is doing a very good job. All it's things on the way back. Yeah, we should do the regular or average or whatever it's called. Yeah. See how that does. Watch all the cones. I might be concerned. No. Nope. It sees oh, them. Yeah, but. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it just seems very cautious, but it might yeah. be due to the chill mode yeah. that we have. Yeah. It's like we've been waiting for it for so long, and we've seen so many. I mean, since what 2016? Yeah, five years. Yeah, but it's just that. Um, Not like we're kind luckily, of this road is good because there's no cars parked on the side, so and no cars really cut in front of us yet. Yeah, and so 
it's handling everything pretty well. I mean, for our first FSD Beta Drive, I think this is a good route. I don't yeah. want to go full out, but I think downtown Denver is something uh, yeah. we should work up to. Yeah. But nobody likes driving down there. So. No, I hate it. <laughs> but if the car yeah, can okay, do it for it, me. Oh, okay. okay, I didn't hear the turn signal. I just yeah, I it's like, good. <laughs> I wonder why it decided to change there when we still have like another mile. No, we only have 0.2 miles to Walgreens. Oh, we're turning before the uh, place. Okay, I thought we were going someplace else. Oh, we need to do this trial too, where you just don't tell it where you go and see where it goes. <laughs> oh wait, really? Yeah. You can do that? Can that sounds like fun. Just get in your car and, uh, and see where it takes us. Yeah. Okay. Wait, will it navigate the parking lot? I don't know. That's what I wonder. When does it turn off? That's what we were asking earlier. Like, well, what if you want to go through drive-through? Oh my god, if it'll take me through drive through Now it's like, ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Is that okay, it? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Wow, it kind of sped up a little over yeah. there. Okay. Okay, um, where's it going to stop? I don't know, but I'm taking over because it's going to be going fast. Here, take a look. Okay. We were just here. Okay. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, first drive. Okay, so we just got back from our first FSD beta finally drive yeah. we've been waiting so long to do that uh time check almost five years since we bought full self-driving on the first 2016 s90d yeah. with autopilot 2. no longer have that car but we do still have the 100d back there we're currently sitting in plaid don't mind the camera rig but that's what we were recording on overall i will say it was impressive pretty good i was impressed i mean like i said i would give it an a it was yeah. it didn't do anything bad uh, we did have it in the chill mode, the chill yep. profile, uh, just because it was our first full self-driving beta drive, and so we wanted to try it out, and chill mode didn't do anything bad. There were a couple times where it was a little slow, a little hesitant, yeah. uh, like after making a turn. It, it took a few seconds before, for, before it accelerated, but that was, we thought, uh, pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, overall, everything considered, uh, we've seen a lot of videos, obviously, throughout the years. We were one of the first to test autopilot. Um, I will say that, that was a refreshing drive. Yeah, very nice. It, it, it handled everything. We did left-hand turns, right-hand turns, traffic circles. Uh, you know, it, it, did, it did it great. Yeah, it really did. So one thing we are going to be testing, and it should be a video coming up, is chill versus average versus assertive. Uh, I, w I wanted to kind of test those out on the same route and see is there a big difference or what have you. So that video will be coming up soon. But... After we did this test drive and we're kind of hanging out for a few, we actually learned why we were having issues to begin with. And that was the 10.3 beta is a little buggy. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, and basically people were all t tweeting Elon saying that yeah. it wasn't working. And so he said, we're working on it. And then sh minutes later, we got a notification that we had received another software update. And we're like, wait a minute, let's just hold off. Because yeah. the version was actually a regression. It would have been a downgrade. And we were. it's a good thing we did hesitate because it looks like everybody who installed that version lost access because it went too far back and they lost access to the full self-driving beta. Exactly. And some of this is like, the originators that were in the full self-driving beta program way back in the day. Some of them lost it. Some of our friends have reached out, been like, don't download it. It'll completely like remove it. So, so thanks um, for the warnings because people were telling you. us, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah. We um, decided to stick it out with the current version, which is yeah. the, what, 2036, uh, 21, excuse me, 2021.36.5.2, yeah. which has that 10.3 full self-driving beta. Yeah, so... Glad we didn't update it, but since uh, then it has actually disappeared. So as quick as it came, the, yeah, they, it was pulled. The stage version. So then they realized, oh, we're taking people off of the full self-driving that should be on it. Yeah. So then they removed that upgrade from our car so we couldn't accidentally install it. There were also several features in the 2021.36 version which were finally activated in the app. They've been around for several weeks, but you need to have the corresponding firmware in the vehicle to activate those. But those allow you to now remotely change the charging amps in your vehicle, also change the scheduled char charge time, and also you can even like turn on bioweapon defense mode in advance before getting into the vehicle. Yeah, definitely nice. And actually scrolling through this right now, there are some yoke behavior changes we finally got those, that I see. Those came out in a previous release, but it wasn't for people who had uh, 
various versions of the beta. So it's nice that they have now included that with the beta. Yep. And then Auto Park um, is now vision based. So maybe we'll test that out in the coming days. Uh, some cold weather improvements, language support, and yeah, the bioweapon defense mode that David had spoke of. So yeah, definitely some awesome new features coming. We're super excited that we finally got into FSD beta. We are uh, definitely not going to do that update until they kind of figure that out. Maybe we'll be careful doing the first updates for a while. Yeah, just definitely check the version before installing. But yeah, I was totally impressed with it. I oh, mean, yeah. I, it didn't do any mistakes. It didn't nope. make any mistakes and didn't do anything scary on the entire drive. And it's it's impressive to see that. You know, we've had full self-driving since the beginning. And while I, we've used it on the highways, this is perfectly handling stop signs and traffic lights. So great job. Definitely, though, stay tuned if you haven't subscribed. Please do because we will be doing the chill versus average versus assertive and uh, probably some other fun videos we're going to try to find some other interesting scenarios and see exactly how it does as always though huge thanks to our channel sponsor abstract ocean if you are looking to accessorize your model sx3 or y definitely check them out all linked down below and using code tesla inventory will get you 15 percent off of your first purchase as always though a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see y'all in the next one bye